Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to the next video of the concept of inheritance. In this video, we will check out the demo for the concept of inheritance in Kotlin. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, I have simply defined some code just to save time. So here I have class dog. Inside the class dog, I have some properties of color and breed. Both are of the type of string. And I have some function of bark and eat. Now down the side I have another class of cat that contains the properties of color and age and also the functions of mew and eat, right? Now if you compare both the class here we have variable color and function eat and here as well I have variable color and function eat. So don't you think the codes are redundant and they need to be optimized? The answer is yes we can optimize the code here as well. So how to do it? So here comes the concept of inheritance into picture. So both cat and dog are actually animal like we all humans are. So here I will simply create a class of let's say animal. And now inside this I will simply define this variable color, simply cut it and paste it inside the class of animal and then Simply cut the function of eat from here and then paste it inside the class of animal. And now simply remove the white space here as well. And now inside the cat, let us remove the var color and also remove this function eat. So here we will apply the concept of inheritance in case of dog. So to apply inheritance in case of Kotlin, we will use colon space animal. Right now here it will show some error. Let me tell you what is it. Similarly in case of cat as well, I will simply use colon space animal. Now in the previous video, we talked about the property of a class such as by default the classes are public and final. So by default you cannot inherit the properties of a class. And to apply the concept of inheritance, you have to use the keyword of open. So here by default whatever class and functions or variables that you define in case of Kotlin are actually public and final in nature, right? So here it shows that these two are actually redundant because by default every class is public and every class is final. Now same applies to this variable as well which is again public in nature by default and also final in nature by default. So you need not to specify it explicitly because this is the default behavior in Kotlin. So let us remove it here. Now same thing applies to this class animal as well where this class is actually public and final. So that is why the compiler will simply throw an error that this animal is actually public and final and cannot be inherited. So by default when you want to inherit some properties in case of Kotlin you have to make a class open by using the open keyword. Now as soon as you declare open, so this class is now no longer final in nature. And this class can be inherited in case of dog and also in case of cat. And now let's see what is the error again. So here it says that the animal has to be type of constructor. So here I will simply use a constructor sign. And now the error has gone. And similarly in case of cat, let us use a constructor sign. And now again the error has gone. So let us now move inside the main method and here I will simply declare where dog equal to let's say dog. So this will simply create the object of the dog. Now I can simply use dog dot breed equal to let's say labra and similarly dog dot let's say color equal to let's say black and now similarly I can simply call the method such as dog dot bark and also dog dot eat right now notice here that this dog dot color is actually the part of class animal that we have inherited inside the class of dog and similarly when we call this dog dot eat method then it is simply calling the method present inside the animal class. Now same thing will apply for the cat object. So let us define the cat object. So here as well we are calling cat.color that simply points to 
this color variable present inside the animal class. And similarly, cat.eat simply triggers this method inside the animal class. And now at the end, suppose if I create var space animal equal to animal, let's see what happens. And then if I use animal dot operator, so here you will find only two options, color equal to let's say white by default animals are white let's say let's call it white animal dot let's say eat and now apart from color and eat you don't have any properties inside the animal class because this animal is actually the top level class that does not inherit from any other class right so in this video we learned the basics of how do we apply inheritance in case of kotlin and now if you run the code, then these methods will be called and you will get some output in the output console such as eat, bark and mew, something like that. So in this video, we learned the basics of how do we apply the inheritance in case of Kotlin. And now there are a lot more things that need to be discussed from the next video onwards. So let's check it out in the next video.